The coach strip gets nasty at five after deal or no deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. to the Dream Factory here in Bristol. I'm going to do an impression. OK. Ah! Ah! Ooh, yes! This is an impression of the banker at the moment. You see, last week, he had four shocking games. He paid out a huge amount of money and he must have been really on edge because the banker can't really do anything if players are brave and also have luck on their side. But then on Friday, the luck didn't just wander out. It crashed out of the Dream Factory. And yesterday, we had a lovely game with Eric, but again, the luck wasn't here. And at the moment, the banker must be feeling... Ah, invincible. I wonder if someone could come out here and get him on edge again. Is luck back? Here are the names. Out here and get the banker twitchy and edgy again, please. Kim. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, Kim, come out here and prove the luck has returned. Hello. You right? Do take a seat in the crazy chair. <laughs> Kuljit Baines. Yes. Where did the Kim come from? The cousin brother of mine just said to my mum when I was born, Kim's a really nice name, and he started calling me Kim, although they named me Kuljit because it's a Sikh name. Um, and everyone just started calling me that. Everyone. I only know they call me Kuljit when I get in trouble, so I don't like hearing it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. You're a customer service advisor. That's right. What's involved in that? Well, when I started being a customer service advisor, I started working general inquiries for a gas and electric company. So I was sort of dealing with customers that wanted to pay bills, give us meter readings, all a bit boring. Um, but since September 08, um, I moved to the new connections team. So sort of wealthy people that are looking to build their own house and need new meters. I arrange that and, you know, get their account set up and things like that and just see the account to to a good level. Do you want to have nice. a phone chat with him? Maybe. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> have a little bit of a rant or find out more about him. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try and organise that. <laughs> Let's have a look at the pics that you brought. Thank you. That is me and my brother at my uncle's uh, birthday. I love my brother to bits. He's actually here in the audience with me as well. Hiya. Hi. How are you? You right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does he not have a name? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. His name's Amrit. Um, yeah. Welcome, Amrit. Cheers. <laughs> that picture was actually taken at my uncle's uh, surprise 40th that we threw on his 43rd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be but... a surprise, wouldn't it? It <laughs> would. <laughs> And that is my gorgeous parents, my mum, Colwinda, and my dad, Amrik. That was taken um, at my cousin brother's wedding a few years ago as well. A happy couple. Lovely. Thank you for sharing that. Lovely. We'll find out a little bit more about you as the game goes on. Are you feeling a little more relaxed? Whew. Content. Good. <laughs> uh, one bit of housekeeping. I need you please to confirm you chose box number four at random before your game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. 
Do you have a financial target? I don't. No? I don't, and that worries me, but I think that will help me just be adamant to think, read the board, read the game for what it is, and just take it from there. Good girl. I hope you're hugely successful. Thank you very Kim, much. Kim, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Look, well, beautiful just standing there. And you, Kim. Cheers. <laughs> uh, God. For some reason, I'm looking at number 12, Mark. Yeah, I think I want number 12. Mark, would you please get us underway? Certainly, you're a sweet lady. I hope it's a blue for you, Thank Kim. Thank you very much. Three grand. That's all right. Rupert, please. Go on, Super. <laughs> I miss you, Kim. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. grown there but let's not forget the banker has always said if he were to play this game he would want to take out the five low reds certainly at your third box it's too early to actually say whether 10,000 is bad or good 18 Brian please what you got in that box then Brian that's a blue in there best of luck for that thank you so <laughs> about the banker being very relaxed. I think he would start to twitch a bit if this was 5,000. So say, he likes top right in the opening round. If you took four of them, that would be something. Seven. Nady, please. Nady, we're with you. Thank you. Good luck, Kim. Thank you. Oh, yes! Yay! is fantastic. Look at that. Eighty percent of the banker's perfect opening. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Ooh. I talked at the beginning about him being very, very relaxed to a point of almost complacency. Now he's focused. Hello, banker. Oh, he says his feet are off the desk now. He says, because it's highly likely that at some point during the game, you're going to get an offer of at least 15 grand. At some point in the game, because of the opening. But he says, caution, Kim. <laughs> he says, the advantage of that great opening evaporates if you don't take the deal at the right time. You're going to have to watch it very carefully. But what amused me and really distracted me there, he stopped calling you Kim. He was calling you Cool G. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I think he wants to take some sort of control over your mind. Cool G. Uh, your box is now worth £10,000. <gasps> Gave you a bit of a gasp. It did actually. I'm I'm really terrible. I, I know when a board looks good and I know when it doesn't look so good, but I'm not good at estimating offers. But I I didn't think it was gonna be ten grand. 
But you know, I got around in there. There's loads of blues. I've taken one out. I can take out another three, so I'm ready for the question. Ten thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you very much. Jim. <laughs> Them. You're an absolute legend, Kim. I really hope this is blue. Thank you very much. Oh! Ooh, we want you it's to go right. down, Dan, not up, Dan. It's all right. Come on, Kim. Come on. It's a very significant box, actually. Because of the strength of your opening, that was a really interesting box. Steve, the great Steve. Yeah, this will be blue, no problem at all. Great Steve. Fingers crossed, Kim. Thank you. Fab yeah! That's the way to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you prepared it? What's that? This bit. I have. Oh, good. The break. Thing. Yes. Will you sing it? Will you recite it? Will I it will. rhyme? It does rhyme. It rhymes. It does. It rhymes, everyone. It does. <laughs> I'm a big believer, and I've said this to a couple of people in the wings, and my brother knows this. I'm a big believer in destiny and what's meant to be is one, you know, is meant to be. So it's on the back of that. I hope I remember it. It goes something like, Do you believe in karma? What's meant to be will be. Well, I do, so come back and let me reveal to you my destiny. and sweet. Now, here's the secret. She likes to do something in the back of a van. <laughs> she likes to play jazz in the back of a van. <laughs> jazz is her boyfriend. She likes poker in a van. <laughs> Why? Because, um, well, Jazz and his cousin brother Pav, they both um, sort of went half on a van, so they paid, you know, it was only about 100 quid, and it did, hardly moved, so we thought, what can we use it for if it's not going to drive us anywhere? And we <laughs> thought, I know, we'll play poker in it. <laughs> so it's great. outside the house, you've got a van in the driver, have you? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well, hopefully, the skills you've learned in the back of a van, if you get my drift, <laughs> uh, will be useful in the next uh, contest with the banker, but come on, this has got to be a blue as well, yeah. isn't it? OK. Let's go for 15, Brad, please. We're looking for a tiny blue to <sighs> balance the fact that she found 75k. What you got? Good luck, Kim. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> it's all right. Okay, well, obviously, uh, after a fabulous start that got you that magnificent offer of 10,000, we've now had, by anybody's standards, a horrible round. Hello. Yeah, you've been very... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good when the banker admits it. She's been very, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. Her throw to the break, you, you feel that that's the problem? You empathise with her? Yes, yeah, she's a believer in karma. You too. You took your Rolls Royce in for a service and the guy who fixed it taught you all about karma. Oh, he was a car mechanic. <laughs> 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 
don't look at me. I didn't make it. It's him. <laughs> there is someone here, you know. <laughs> if he was a car mechanic now, he would say to you, Oh, darling, you're in trouble. Oh, your big end's gone. <laughs> Thousand pounds. You know what? I think that's reasonable for what I knocked up. Well, 75 and quarter mil. Yeah. But that's the beauty of me be believing in karma and destiny, though, because sometimes you don't always realise why things happen. You know, in the future, you think, yep, yeah, that happened for this reason. So... Definitely got another round in there. I'm ready for the question, please. One thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> right, all blue round. Let's go for it. Okay. Thirteen, Michael, please. Okay, Michael, we're here now. We're it's not there. Pence. We're there. One pence. Oh, right. Okay, so you said. Come on. 14, Jenny, please. All right, Jenny, we've got a feeling about you. Can you do a blue? Hope so, Kim. Good Thank luck. You. Oh. No. Oh, please, not another one of these games. <laughs> My lovely neighbour, Stacey. Six. Let's hope it's a penny. Good luck, Kim. I really hope it's blue. Thank you. Trying the charm now. Right. He says, I, I do please tell her, I wish I was 60 years younger. <laughs> I lived in Leicester and I had a van. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, he admires your belief in karma. Oh, he wants you to believe in free will, take control of your destiny. And take six thousand. He's actually keen to get you. He's... Six thousand's a lot of money, and the more I look at the board, I just keep thinking the reds look a bit lonely there, but there's some massive amounts still in my game. I've only knocked out two of the power five. Game. Okay. I just want to say, take your time. Um, I think you're doing fine. Like, you know, you said you think you've got another round in there. I think you probably have as well. Yeah. But just don't, you know, you're doing great. Board's looking fine. And I keep thinking when I picked box four, obviously randomly, um, my brother kept going, yeah. And I was like, what? Like, you know, he knows numbers don't mean nothing to me, didn't you, Ams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, our house, number four. Like, <laughs> going like that. And I was like, and it's so you nice. live at number four? Yeah. I live at number four. And it's nice to think, looking at that board, that if I'm due a red, I'm going to be due one of them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But... that would be a result. I think I'm ready for the question now. OK, £6,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Bankar. I do respect that offer, but no deal. Thank you. Andrew, please. OK. Oh, I do hope this is a blue. Thank you. I really do. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Big oh, no. What is it? 
just taken the biggest number out of the game. <laughs> that really is unlucky. 16, Jessica, please. I really hope this is it. but it's not enough to give us the balance that we need. We're going to take a break. Yeah, let's. We'll have a sip of your coffee. We'll have a little chat. Yep. We'll get the pilgrims behind you. We'll get a little bit more belief coming out of the wings. And we're going to cling to the thought that after some unlucky games, this is the turning point there is still life-changing money within your grasp. Come back after the break. See Kim win £50,000. <laughs> lovely game. Right. I do not want the turbulence to continue. I want a nice calm passage now all the way to £50,000. That's what I'm predicting you are going to win from this game. One to go. Imperative we remove the 1p. Cody, I keep looking at you, mate. I do. And I think, I just hope you've got a blue for me. Yeah. Let's go with number 11. Cody, please. My lovely okay. neighbour. Go on, Huddy. Definitely miss you, Kim. Thank you. Good luck. This is a significant box, Huddy. Yeah. It's still a, it's still an awkward configuration. Hello. Very awkward. Hello. Glad you agree. Yes, it's, it's like it's been eroded <laughs> from the end. It, it's sort of awkward to. Um, I don't think we're in a good position, but it's awkward to try and work out how grave the position is. Oh, don't worry, it's my job," said the banker. Uh, your box is now worth four thousand seven hundred and fifty. That's good. So what do you think? Four grand, yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, those three, I've got a little bit of a feeling about box four. I don't know if that's just, you know, but I really, you know I'm not good with this stuff like this, but four grand, it is a lot, you know, there's a lot of stuff you could do with that. See, that would help, four and a half grand. You know, people don't give that to you every day, yeah. and I want to go uni and stuff, and that would help, but... Kim. Before, you were talking about destiny. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Of course it does. And you're on this show for a reason. Mm. And you've got three fantastic reds there, and you've got a lot of blues. Have you got the courage to go on and make a change? Thank you. I needed to hear that. Thank you. I'm ready for the question. 4,700. And fifty pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. <laughs> right, I'm going to find three blues at the critical time in your game. Twenty, Shahid, please. Shahid, I think you were instrumental in us coming to this point actually so wouldn't it be great if you gave her one of those low blues that you've been churning out ever since you so. arrived I hope so mate thank you first box in the crucial round all the best Kim thank you
Yeah, yeah, just a little woo. Number three, May, please. Okay, May. Second blue, please. Here's to the next blue. Oh! Oh, 35,000. Okay, this is the crucial one. We need 50p or ideally the penny out of the game. Tony, open 21, please. Give us what we want to see. Kim, good luck. for somebody who believes in karma. So he's bearing that in mind. Yeah, we failed to find the 1P. He's saying over and over again that because of that bloke over there, yeah. Shahid has given you an increased self-belief. And although that round undoubtedly went his way, he is unsettled by the slight change in you that he has observed since Shahid gave you that boost. All right. He's unsettled. He's unsettled by your belief in karma and he even sees what you've got tattooed on your hand. Um, he wants the box. Undoubtedly, he would like to do the deal now. He'll buy your box for six and a half thousand. It's good money. It's good money, man. What do you think? Personally, if it was me, I think I'd probably deal at this point, I think. Would you? Yeah. But, like you said, Destiny, if you're meant to get a big win, you will have that big win. If it's not meant for you, you know, you're not going to get it. And like Gaz said, I think... Obviously, he's trying to knock my faith and stuff, but... Even, you know, when Gaz left after his game, he always said he his bigger regret would have been to have not carried on and find that there's a hundred grand in his box. And, you know, like to this day, he said he would not have changed his game. And I feel like I want to do the same, but I don't. <laughs> oh, it's at six and a half. What would you lot do? Kim, if you're going to carry on, be prepared to go all the way. Yeah. Said that to Gaz, and you've got to believe that it's in your box mm. if you're going to carry on. The ne your next offer, even if you leave the 50 grand there, it's going to be like maybe 12, 13, it'll be great. But if you, if you get that 50 grand out of the way, I know. you've got to believe that your 15 is in the four yeah. box. Get out of the game now. But I am only here once. Gaz said that. You know, I am. And it's worked for some people and it ain't worked for others, but... But if it's meant to be... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I need to... If I go on, I'd be so relieved when that 1P goes. If it goes... It would make it. all the difference. What? If it goes, I said you'd... Hey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me the question, please. Kim. Six and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> I really hope that very brave decision is about to pay off. We're looking, ideally, for that all blue round. Where are we going first? Eight. Nicola, please. I can't watch. <laughs> you can't watch? No. Well, you don't have to watch because they're all with you so much. You'll get their reaction and you'll know. 
everybody knows exactly the form we want these three boxes to take. Nicola, stage one. Open the box, please. Lovely, Kim. Hope it's a penny. Ah. <sighs> 50,000 was not your destiny. Twenty-two, Ruth. Ruth, karma has carried her, a belief. Fifteen thousand pounds would be the top of the game. Fifteen thousand pounds can be in box number four. Ruth, give us the confidence to believe it is here. Thank you. Find it. Are you going left or right? 19 or to Chloe, our newbie, 17. I didn't deliberately leave it, but 19 is my birthday. And I keep looking at it weird. Do you want to leave it? 19, please, Christy. Okay, we're coming to you, Christy. Oh, Would you please open the box? Good birthday present. He was. I tell you, your uh, self belief is going to be tested right now. <laughs> Hello. Can't stand still. Huddy was right. Yeah, if you go on now, you've got to be prepared to go all the way. I think this will get a reaction. He's offering you for box number four three thousand pounds. He's really engaged with Huddy's comment. You've got to be prepared to go all the way. He's encouraging you now to do just that. I'm ready for the question, please. Three thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> I tell you, my head is buzzing completely. I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> Hello. He says you may have the swap. So, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you. Before he rang, I was saying that my head is just absolutely buzzing because we're all remembering Gaz's game of last week and was so determined to make the most of his one opportunity and, and he was burning up at the thought that he would ever in the future have a regret that he hadn't played deal all the way through. I hope this pays off. It would be too cruel to think that in the space of a couple of days we've had two extraordinary young players who have the same fate. Kim, I really hope that I am now going to pull the seal on 15,000 that we are in no doubt will have a massive impact upon your life. Good luck to you. I hope so, I really do. I want, to ch I want to chat in a moment. Chloe, welcome to the game. You have 50p. Will you kindly complete this wonderful game? I'm so happy I'm opening this for you on my first game. Thank you. 50p sitting right there. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, And you Lord. really deserve it. I mean, you deserve it. Oh. You really do deserve that. 
You are going to be a very successful lady, you are. I'd like to be hearing the telephone call with your family because it's going to go roughly along the lines of, I believed in myself, I went all the way to the end, <laughs> and in addition to winning a huge amount of money, I spanked an old man. <laughs> Kim, £15,000. Good luck with your education. And that is a really, really important game for us here because, once again, we use that word legacy. You'd want to be playing tomorrow because it really feels as if we're back with the good luck in the Dream Factory. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. The coach trip is heading for Italy and that Latin temperament seems to be in evidence. That's next.